Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve graphics card related issues on your Windows 11 computer. So beyond physical hardware damage, which is not covered in today's tutorial, which it certainly could be if your graphics card is physically damaged or deteriorated or needs maintenance, that is not today's tutorial. But if you're having a software related issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in device manager, best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go underneath where it says display adapters and double click on it. Right click on your display adapter listed under here and select uninstall device. Select uninstall. And now go ahead and actually restart your computer and it should reinstall the driver automatically. So then hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem at this point. If you are still having an issue, something else we can try would be to go on to your web browser. And then just search for it if you're using NVIDIA or AMD or even Intel drivers. Go ahead and just search for it, like NVIDIA drivers. And just search for it. One of the best matches should be from NVIDIA.com. You can go ahead and write onto their website and just select the product type and the series from here. And then it will go ahead and actually give you a download link to install available drivers. As always, I strongly recommend getting it directly from the manufacturer, which in this case would be NVIDIA. If you're using AMD drivers, you just search for AMD drivers on the Google. And they have an auto detect tool, which AMD offers, which I would suggest using if available. And it will go ahead and actually locate your graphics card that you have on your computer and find applicable drivers available. So you would go ahead and just select that link and then select the download now button. Select the Keep button. Again, this is directly coming from AMD's website. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and run it. And it should be a verified publisher here. So Advanced Micro Devices, AMD. Select Yes to run it. And now we're going to go ahead and select the Install button. And I don't actually have any AMD hardware installed on this computer, so that's why it's erroring out on us. But if you did, it would just let you follow along with the on-screen prompts. Very straightforward process from this point on, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.